Okay, today I'm going to be replacing this whole kit because I have a leaking issue and the bulb is pretty old and I could just simply replace this bulb and that should have fixed the problem with this water flow issue. It happens constantly. So instead of replacing this bulb, which would be only about three bucks, I decided to replace the whole gear because it's about time. It's been a couple of years. So I'm going to replace it with this um, universal kit comes with the mount and everything so um, cost I think about 20 bucks 25 bucks actually so let's get to it before we start you want to make sure you have a towel and some ranches because you're going to need to uh, make sure that the bowl is dry before you can replace the parts and to do that we're gonna to have to flush the water out so you want to go and close out the valve okay and flush the toilet and as you know we're gonna have to let the water flow out That does not stop the rest of that water that, that's left in there. That's what we're gonna have to dry out. Okay, since we flushed the toilet, I place a towel underneath for any of the uh, water that might be uh, um, dripping out once we start unplugging the uh, pipes. Okay. Listen. You should see the water start to drip out. It's a good thing we have the towel down here. Don't worry about the water since it's pretty clean. It's not. It's coming right off the pipes. Okay. It's time to unscrew this. Once it's loosened, we can take this off. Okay. I just took this out, and as you can tell, we got water, the excess water flowing out of that. Again, we have the towel to take out most of the water. Okay, I'm gonna have to think here so that it'll fit flush against the mount here. The belt. Okay. Using the razor, I've cut two sides out and it's easy to work those out. Now it should fit nicely. Against the against the fill valve. Okay, at this point it'd be easy to just replace this since we've already got that. But we want to make sure to replace this. So we're going to have to Unscrew these two nuts uh, here to pull off the tank. Okay. Okay, to remove the tank, we're unscrewing this. I've already uh, uh, loosened it up with the wrench, so it's easy to do. Now to do the other side. Okay, I've unloosened the, the tank to 
the toilet here. And as you can see, the rubber mount here is pretty old. It's not really good. So I'm going to be replacing this. We're gonna to have to take this out and remove that and replace it with the new parts. Okay, I loosened it up with the wrench. So let's take this out. See how dirty it is. The rubber gasket needs to be replaced. And it's a good thing I just brought the whole kit. So with that, our flush kit has been removed. And we are going to replace this rusty parts with new parts. the rubber washer and time to install it like so and it'll be replaced right there like that <clears throat> okay the tank was a bit dirty so I rinsed it out as clean as I can and now we're gonna start putting it all back together. First, this part. Just remember that once we in, uh, install the uh, flush kit, this will be what's stopping the water from leaking through right there. Okay. Okay. Flush kit's ready. Again, this part is what's going to be like that. Get it installed. And tightened over here. And we'll tighten that up with a wrench. Okay, this part has been tightened. Okay, now that it's tight, put the rubber gasket on it, and we are ready to install this on top. Okay, align the two. Tighten it up with the nuts on the bottom. As you can see, the rubber mount gasket will keep the water from leaking out of the toilet. And you want to make sure to use a washer and nut to tighten the tank into place. Okay, I've, ad I've adjusted the height of the flush kit. So all we have to do is Install and tighten up on the bottom. Okay, I screwed this cap back on, made it flush with the back. Tube should be going here into here for the overflow, and I can adjust the valve for this. Only thing that needs to be done. Okay, this part has now been tightened up. So the only thing we need to do is install this last part. Time to install the hose. Normally, 
you're supposed to cut this pipe off, but I don't have the um, small saw to uh, cut the pipe. So what I'm gonna do is actually not use this, but just stick it down the pipe. Voila. Now let's turn the water on and see how well it works. Okay, water's coming up. Oops. And we'll need to uh, install the chain to the lever pretty soon. So we'll just see how much, uh, how well this works. So far the water is loading well and it looks like there's no leaks, which is good. And it stopped, just as planned. Okay, the water is pretty cold. But I re-did the uh, chain. Let's take a look. There you go. I've set the uh, pressure on the uh, flush uh, at, I think, level five. So the water flush is pretty good, but it doesn't go all the way down. I don't think that's bad. Job well done.